wagwan welcome back to my channel it is your girl Sasha and today guys I'm going to start a short series I'm gonna split up this in two separate series I'm gonna talk about the hair on a whole the hair as an anatomy and ideally I'm doing this because I kind of wanted to address a problem from you who have been a part of my channel you know that the one problem that I have with my hair since about two years ago is my shedding and that kind of escalated um when i um after i gave birth so with this i wanted to come and i wanted to create this video to talk about the hair on a whole one i'm going to talk about the hair as an anatomy the life cycle of hair and why is it that shedding is a part of the normal life cycle of hair and how can we determine hey this is normal shedding or is this breakage so the first phase of the hair cycle is the anagen phase and this is a starting phase this is where the follicles are basically preparing to produce hair hair will be growing and maturing in this phase so ideally 90 percent of the time in any given time 90 percent of the hair on our heads are going through the growing phase and this phase technically lasts three to five years of course everyone is different some persons go through that growing phase up to seven years especially when you're younger you will have you know more growth in your hair now this phase is where your hair is growing you're seeing your your length coming in it's constantly growing and producing hair in the follicles now it's natural to understand that once the hair is growing it's gonna have to reach a point where it stop or else we will all be monkeys we will have hair growing and sprouting from all areas of our bodies and so forth but also be mindful that the hair the anagen phase is also for the hair on your head but also the hair on your brows your mustache the beard for men the hair on your body and all of that of course these the different parts of your body has different um has a shorter lifespan so you find that the hair on your skin the hair like on your body like a facial hair and those hair does not grow as fast and as long as the hair on your head and they have a shorter um anagen phase now the second phase of the hair life cycle is the catagen phase and here now while in the anagen phase the follicles are open and flourishing and pushing out hair and constantly growing and all of that in the catagen phase now the hair basically the hair follicles shrink and kind of restricts growth so you'll find that here that is here would be matured and would have been slowed in growth so here there's not much growth going going on but it is kind of like plateauing so here is the hair growth has slowed down dramatically and basically the hair follicles is shrinking basically to retain whatever is left on your head at this point now the hair the bulb of the hair the hair follicles the hair is basically detached from that in preparation for the following phase but basically it does not fall out it's just it's there and this will last up to like 10 days or so so basically these here are matured we know that it's ready to go now but it's like they're just right there at that phase just sitting there preparing for the next phase which is the third phase which is the final phase but ideally most persons separate this into two phases the telogen phase and the exogen phase now, now the telogen phase comparable to the catogen phase is where the hair is resting but unlike the catagen phase with which there is still little growth going on but it's kind of slowed in the telogen phase is like complete stop there is a resting no growth is going on and ideally only like 10 to 15 percent of your hair is in this phase at any given point so you will have 90 percent of hair growing while 10 percent to 15 percent of hair is basically just stagnant which is why you won't have all your hair at the same length at any given time so some parts of your hair grows faster than some and that is just a normal life cycle of hair because in that case now we allow different parts of the hair to be in different phases so you always have hair on a head because if everything is at the same phase at the same time it's growing at the same time it's falling out at the same time then we can understand that or here we will not be seeing the growth and the length of our hair if that wasn't the case so in the telogen phase is the resting phase in that point it is completely separated the hair strands are completely separated from the bulb in the follicle of the hair and basically everything is resting and preparing for the exit phase and in also in this phase now remember 
our hair replenishes itself so when the hair falls out or if it goes or anything happens then you have hair along in the follicles developing to produce so when those hair goes then we have hair coming out so in the telogen phase we have where the the follicles is preparing new hair to push through into the pores and to go um to replace those hairs so that leads me to the last phase which is the exogen phase and as it says exo we know basically what that means so the exogen phase now as we know is the exit phase meaning that all the hair that has grown, has matured, has plateaued, is now ready to leave the scalp. It's ready now to go away and to replenish us with beautiful new virgin hair. <laughs> so basically, this is um, that is why you will see that persons can get a chemical process and and go through um, relaxers like us, and then eventually they will get back their virgin hair. And this is all a part of the hair cycle. No, the exogen phase no it lasts for a while and it can be two to five months ideally and that is basically on average two to five months you will have shedding and it's it's quite normal for you to have like 50 to 100 hair per day being shed during this phase now you can only imagine how many millions of strands of hair we have in our hair follicles if we can be losing 50 to 100 hairs per day for five months we would have had to have millions of hair on our head to kind of accommodate all of that and not be bald all right so the exogen phase here is leaving the follicles it's being replenished with new hair coming through those follicles that has been created in the telogen phase and the hair is basically exists exiting and that is in the form of shedding so guys that is the hair cycle we know exactly how we go through the cycle that is why when we experience shedding it is quite normal and if we are constantly brushing our hair daily and all of that we will help to get out all of the dead hair and the hair that has been loosened from the scalp and all of that but if we do not brush for example like what i'm in you know if i'm in a prosthetic style now all the hair that is supposed to be shedding or releasing from the scalp would be kind of piled up in there so when i brush it when you realize that you come out of braids or out of, out of a particular style and you haven't brushed your hair in a while you will find that your hair basically has a lot more hair coming out and that one time and this is to make up for all of the hair that is that was supposed to be released which was not released and which was backed up um which is why some persons get and get alarmed like why am i losing so much hair oftentimes it's not that you're losing so much hair but you haven't come in a while and the 50 to 100 stands that needs to be released is released all in one so it looks dramatic and you get frustrated and you get worried like what is going on so guys i hope that has been clear given you enough clarity on the hair life cycle and how the hair operates so i'm gonna move on now to part b where we talk about shedding distinguishing between shedding and breakage and all of that jazz so after oh oh dear go ahead and click the next video link and i will tag it here and you can go ahead and basically watch that video and see what we're going to talk about in in regards to shedding and break it that one will be very interesting so go ahead and watch it immediately after this video thank you guys and i'll see you right after this